Here is your latest church news from tradcatnight.blogspot.com. My good friends get to Tradcat Night on a daily basis for the number one ranked traditional Catholic website in the world, a top 20,000 website keeping you up to date on all of the latest current events through a traditional Catholic perspective. And for your latest church news, we have, coming out of LifeSite News, Pete Baklinski reporting upon a uh, pro-abort population controller thrilled with direction that Francis is taking the church. The undisputed father of the modern pro-abortion population control movement told LifeSite News in an exclusive interview that he is thrilled to death with the direction that Francis is taking the Catholic Church. He states, I'm thrilled with the quote-unquote new pope moving the church in the right direction. Author of the 1968 bestseller, The Population Bomb, his name is Dr. Paul Ehrlich, a.k.a. Dr. Death. And so they apparently had... An exchange going back and forth between Dr. Ehrlich and LifeSite News. Now, the Stanford biologist has been invited by the Vatican to present a paper at its conference at the end of the month on the topic of saving the natural world from extinction, uh, tying in with uh, evol- uh, excuse me, uh, environmentalism, which is a key component of Agenda 21, key component to uh, Antichrist Maitreya's arrival and how he will essentially solve all of the world's problems. Now, titled Biological Extinction, this specific conference will address what the Vatican organizers called unsustainable imbalance between the world's population and what the Earth is capable of producing. Uh, The event is jointly sponsored by the Pontifical Academy of Sciences and the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences. Now, Dr. Ehrlich champions sex selective abortion as well as mass forced sterilization as legitimate methods to curb population growth he's of the rockefeller irk ilk ehrlich has been inimical to the catholic church and her teachings on life uh this should be quite obvious we don't really need to go uh, too much further into breaking that down but yet another red flag of course Uh, with our buddy anti-Pope Francis, who consistently gets praises from Jews, from Freemasons, from these global depopulationists such as Dr. Death, Dr. Ehrlich. Um, And so, you know, what else can we say here, folks? Um, You know, we got to continue to pray for the church leaders. Uh, I did a hour and 15 minute talk on blessed anna emmerich where she said that she continually offered up her suffering so that more and more uh prelates could be awakened and that's all we can do listen this we're in the end game now folks there's not much time left before your biblical antichrist arises and uh outside of this you know we've got francis talking about how these certain restorationist orders bursting with young people you know need to be kind of kept under wraps because they're just too quote unquote rigid and pharisaical and fundamentalist and listen we're we're evolving further and further out of the christian society out of the catholic church period if you will into this apostate church uh of darkness uh you will soon see pope benedict the 16th flee rome with some cardinals uh once the formal schism uh occurs and i hope more and more of you begin to wake up that francis is a true anti-pope folks Subscribe to Tradcat Night right now for all the latest videos, news, information, special guest radio shows coming to you Monday through Friday. Again, Tradcat Night is the most comprehensive and followed traditional Catholic website worldwide. Along the right-hand side of the website is a plethora of information. Make sure you get to the daily news feed section. There's a poll question which goes up uh, every quarter. I'll be doing a new one in less than a week. There's a blog archive one-third of the way down the page. Make sure you're you're getting through that material for those who are ignorant there are two other additional sites working off of our main site the sister site is tradcatnight.org and then we also have a forum page so there is a forum page where you can interact with others post articles uh basically um just be more interactive with other traditionalists i do moderate it but nevertheless you can 
uh, be a little bit more interactive than what I will normally allow on some of my other social media. That is tradcatnight.freeforums.net. If you're looking to advertise on Tradcat Night, your business, your event, your website, whatever it may be, please contact me for my lucrative rates. Make sure you get to my friend Chris Gagne's prepping website, fatimafoods.thrivelife.com. Great website. My family still uses it. And uh, great resource there for preppers, not only just for traditional Catholics or Catholics, but for everyone. If you are looking to schedule me for an interview, folks, please contact me again via the contact page or just simply email me at apostleofmary at hotmail.com. I really opened myself up to media appearances, uh, especially this month going on into next month. So if you have your own radio show, your own YouTube channel, your own website, please uh, do get in contact with me. We, I can basically cover it all. Continue to keep me in prayer, folks. Continue to spread word of Trad Cat Night to your friends, family, and church members. If you have news tips, articles, videos, blogs of your own, be sure to send them to me at apostleofmary at hotmail.com. And lastly, folks, click that PayPal button. Get behind us uh, via financial support. Of course, we need prayers, but we do need financial assistance as well. I always say this, we go and grow as your charity flows. So in order to maintain where we're at, but to continue to grow this apostolate, uh, I need to continually keep a good, strong social media t team around me. We need to continue to work in efforts of getting out the proper traditional Catholic perspective and parlaying it into what we're seeing uh, as to what's happening via current events in the world. And uh, I appreciate all your prayers and support. Questions can be sent to me as well if you're looking to set up a, a phone call a Skype session, whatever it may be. I try to take time out during the week and do that as well. My good friends, let's keep our wings spread in faith and hope. And until next time, stay safe and God bless.